Now, as much a surprise as Concordia was to make it this far, if you just looked at the first few weeks of the regular season, South Adams won two games in the regular season. The Starfires are playing for a regional championship. They're doing it at home, 7.30, the kick in burn this coming Friday as they battle Tri-Central. In your eyes, what are going to be some of the biggest keys for the Starfires playing this Tri-Central team? Yeah, I mean, you're looking at a, at a game on paper is pretty lopsided. Tri-Central has been uh, ranked in the top ten. They're 11-1. and one. They've been playing pretty well. They've got four shutouts in their last seven games, so this is a, a strong defensive team. Uh, South Adams needs to play the perfect game. They need to be able to, to execute on offense, you know, just grind it out because they have a lot of, they've got a good running game. You know, they've got a solid passing, not, maybe not spectacular, but solid passing. And, uh, and Cal Clouser and that defense need to, to, to bring it <laughs> and, and try to do their best to shut down Tri Central, which will be a difficult task. Yeah, South Adams relies a lot offensively on quarterback Derek Warner. He was huge. He scored the touchdown in overtime, then kicked the extra point, which was actually the difference in last week's 40 to 39 win at Southwood in overtime. That extra point, a lot of pressure on him, I imagine, since <laughs> Southwood scored first. So, he well, knew was he the easiest kick plays it. in the game, right? Yeah, the right. Extra point? Yeah, right. Ask Derek Warner about that. He was probably sweating it. Um, <laughs> As far as South Adams goes, we mentioned it with Snyder. They have made plays in the playoffs when they have had to. Right. Uh, they're down 13 to zip against Adams Central a couple weeks ago. They score, hadn't scored the whole game, score 14 in the fourth quarter to win it. <laughs> Uh, they needed the touchdown and the extra point in overtime to beat Southwood, who had already had a touchdown, and missed the kick. They did it. So they've been able to step up at certain plays at, at the most crucial times in games. How valuable is that going forward? It's got to be valuable. You know, you've been there, you've done it a little bit. The, the fact of the matter is, when you have a team like this who didn't have a lot of success in the regular season, wins and loss wise, <laughs> when you get hot, you gain that confidence that, wow, we can play with these teams, we can beat these teams, because beating Adam Central and Southwood at, at their level, uh, and the fact that they've got some tradition and Southwood a very dynamic team this year, I think those are just huge confidence boosters. If South Adams can come out in the first half and be, make it a game, it's still a game going into halftime. I think then then they got a chance at an upset, but they can't let you know they can't let the game get out of hand right away. When we're talking about the three A game, we said Concordia has the offense. It's just how much can the defense uh, stop the other team? I think it's almost the flip side for South Adams. Their offense is opportunistic, as we like to use that word, but their defense has kept them in games this year. Right. They're going up against a running back, Garrett Kelly, 148 yards, two touchdowns last week, over 1,500 yards on the season, so you know they like to run the fall, ball. You know the guy that they're going to hand it to is Kelly. Uh, so you're going strength on strength there. Uh, how much of a challenge is it going to be for South Adams to stop them defensively, even though the game is in burn, is at Starfire Field. Yeah, oh, huge challenge. And, and when you get to this point in the season, what you're looking at is, is teams have established their strengths. So even a team like South Adams that didn't have as many wins in the regular season, they've established what their strengths are. So everyone kind of knows what each other's going to do. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of can you stop their best with your best. And uh, if they can bottle him up early in the game, as I said before, show that they can play at that level, then, then they've got a chance. All right. It should be a very interesting Friday. What are you most looking forward to about this coming Friday? Because this is the, the time of the season where you're starting to think, okay, can, the, can this team all make it right. all the way to a state championship game? Right. And, and I, I go back to the first game we talked about, Dwinger, New Haven. I think either one of those teams wins. They've got a chance to go to a state championship level because uh, they will have beaten some really quality teams around this area go, getting there. Uh, so whichever team comes out of that, uh, you know, I, I got like the momentum that they've got and the talent. They're both very good teams. All right. It should be a very interesting Friday night. He's Reggie. I'm Glenn. And thanks for logging on to Wayne.com for another edition of Inside the Zone.